We recently attended the BFI IMAX for a screening of Tenet in the best available format currently known to man, 1570 IMAX film. I plan to put a full video up on this soon, but in the meantime all I can say is, IMAX film has to be seen to be believed. There are many cinemas left with the capability of screening 1570, but the BFI IMAX is one of them. While in London we arranged a meeting with Darren at the Hoban branch of Richer Sounds. I'll put a link to their store and the Richer Sounds website in the description below. I've pointed many people in their direction over the years as I've been a fairly regular customer since 1991 and having branches all over the UK does make them a viable option for many of us. We were headed for the demonstration room to have a look at the Optoma UHZ50 video projector and of course for that Darren had to drop the screen into position. It's a compact machine but gives very impressive results. Video projection continues to improve and even the budget machines provide cinematic results in the home. Many people will want to, or need to, mount a projector from the ceiling and Richer Sounds offer some good options for this. This Sanus offering seems like a very good solution to me. My first purchase in here was a Marantz SP50 Dolby Stereo or ProLogic decoder, along with some speakers to go with it. I still have all these items to this day, but things have moved on and there are all manner of the latest tech on sale in richer sound stores today. The resurgence of vinyl means record decks are once again a major part of the Richer Sounds lineup, and the Technics SL1210 is among the most sought after. I nearly bought one of these many years ago when vinyl was coming to an end. It was gold plated and only £450, and I bottled it. Right, so it turned out to be rather an expensive trip to Richer Sounds, but I'm sure it'll be worth it. Anyway, as Mondo would say, nurse scalpel. I'm not as brave as him, so scissors. Remote control, which I tested out rather thoroughly in richer sounds. And here is a UHZ50 Optoma projector and the reason for getting this is because our existing one, the UHD 550X, is so enormous and because we're finally getting to the point of having the modifications done here in order to project from the room next door onto the screen this is going to have to hang upside down and we didn't fancy hanging the existing enormous UHD 550X so we look to this and also with the British Film Collectors Convention coming up. That means we'll have the other projector for projecting at the BFCC. And because that one's got a long throw lens, as well as very good zoom on it, this is a bit of a more restrictive zoom lens, but a much better projector. And after looking at it closely in richer sounds, you could see the color was good. The contrast was good. It's supposedly two and a half million to one, the contrast on this. So a lot more than the UHD 550X. So we should even find 
that that 4K of June that I had so many problems with, as so many other people did, should look much better now on this video projector. So time will tell. I'll have to do a full review soon. But in the meantime, here it is. Just down from Richer Sounds on the end of Shaftesbury Avenue is Forbidden Planet. If you're a science fiction film fan or a comic fan and you're ever in London you simply have to take a look in here. The lower ground floor always seems to have amazing movie book bargains so well worth a visit. And no, I didn't leave here empty handed. And then just along from Forbidden Planet is FOP. And since I last featured this store, there has been a little rearranging, so I thought I should include another look here. The 4K section has moved and is much enlarged so even more enticing, or perhaps dangerous would be a better word, to look at. I came home with loads of 4K discs and a few Blu-rays, but not all of these were from FOP. There are some wonderful titles and gifts in here from Daniel Filippo, who came over from Sweden just to see this IMAX screening of Tenet, and I'm sure we're going to see him there again before this Christopher Nolan season is out. 
So in order to make sure you don't miss my upcoming IMAX video, which will show the process in some detail, it might be an idea to subscribe if you haven't already, and that way you stand a chance of being notified when it's up. Anyway, until the next video, bye-bye for now.